feel, you know, where, where your stuff's at and, and where you are. And uh, you get nervous that, you know, how much practice are you going to get in? Obviously, we're supposed to get uh, quite a bit of practice this morning. It got trimmed down, and now it's obviously none at this point. So you're always uh, just kind of wondering how much practice you're really going to get in and um, see where your truck's at. All that money you have, just use a jet. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Additional questions? We'll go to Zach. Uh, Zach Albert, NASCAR.com for Eric. Um, you, you'd had a lot of near misses with, with Victory Lane before, uh, you know, the weekend, a couple weekends ago. Um, what, what was the, you know, kind of the wait or it was the anxious moments waiting for, for that? And then you, I guess, kind of had a double dose of it just in one weekend. What were the logistics like from going from one place to the other and, and pulling that off? Well, I, I don't, I wouldn't say it was a wait more than just me being, you know, anxious to want to get a win. Um, you know, it was disappointing for just wanting to get my crew guys that win more than anything. You know, they work so hard and we just didn't really have anything to show for our year to this point or to that point. Um, so it was more of me just wanting to get something for them. And, um, you know, obviously it, it came in a bunch with, uh, there last weekend or two weekends ago at Iowa and Chicago. But, um, you know, it wasn't too crazy getting back and forth. Um, I didn't fly up to Chicago until the next morning after the, the truck race in Iowa. So um, had plenty of time to get there. And I don't think we were even on track in Chicago till 1 or 2 in the afternoon. So uh, a pretty easy day and, uh, you know, not too bad on travel, nothing too crazy. All right, we'll go to Nate. Go ahead. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. What has NASCAR told you about how much practice you might get before the race and how much practice do you feel like you'd need before the race to feel comfortable? Because uh, tomorrow's schedule is pretty chock full. It seemed like it would be hard to not run the race tonight if they can get the track ready in time. Uh, I haven't heard anything, but, you know, obviously we're, we're working on getting this track dry and, and we'll kind of go from there. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm not entirely worried about – Getting a ton of practice, obviously it's, it'd be quite a spectacle if we went out there with no practice. Uh, I think there'd be a lot of people kind of fighting for their lives at some point. But, you know, I, it'd be nice to have at least 30 minutes of practice. I mean, just to go out there and get travels, make sure nothing's hitting the racetrack. And if we could get that, you know, that makes me pretty comfortable. I think it's uh, once the, they get the track dry, one of the biggest problems here is it weeps real bad just out of the cracks. And from, I think that's what happened last night, why they canceled it. So if they can get it dry, and I said, I'm sure NASCAR has no idea how long the weepers will last, but I know once it stops raining, it'll maybe take two hours, if that, to get it dry besides the weepers. So it, I know that they want to get it done now. And I think realistically, if we got 30 minutes of practice, would be fine. And I'm sure some of us will need more. We probably will. This place hasn't been the most kind to us in the last couple of years. <laughs> Additional questions? Go ahead. We'll start with Lee. Go ahead. Lee Spencer, motorsport.com. Um, Matt, we were talking earlier, trying to think of a time when trucks might have been canceled and gone straight from off the truck and into the race. Can you think of a time when that happened? No. Okay. And as, as you, yeah, as you catch your breath, um, is, is this one of those easier kind of commutes for your race team since you guys are based in Ohio? Yeah, yeah. That, I think it's only about four hours drive for our guys, if that, here. But I don't think NASCAR would actually send them right off the truck to the racetrack to race. I think we, at minimum, would have to have, I think, 20 to 30 minutes of practice. So I'm sure they're going to call qualifying here in a little bit if I was a betting man and just get us some practice so we can go race. And at that point, I think they'd go by points, if I'm not mistaken. I'm fine with that. At least he won't be on the pole. <laughs> yeah, I'd start, uh, start third. And actually, we were talking about your question, and actually somebody said it was I-70 Speedway, and I think 98, they went straight to the race. I was two. If it was in this month, if it was before May, I was only a year old. <laughs> All right, Kelly, did you have a question? Kelly Grandel from PopularSpeed.com. Eric, uh, thoughts on working with Christopher, Christopher Bell in the this weekend? He also ran a couple weeks ago. Thoughts on him as a teammate at KBM? And would you like to see maybe him get more races in that 54 truck? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Christopher's a, uh, a pretty great young talent. 
Um, you know, obviously I enjoy racing with him, and um, it's, it's cool to, to have a guy come along in the KBM and, um, you know, really right there with us and, and figuring stuff out together. So, uh, you know, any opportunity he gets is great, and it's cool to see for him. And he's, he's worked hard and been successful in late models and, and definitely deserves the opportunity. So it's been fun to, to get to race with him. Obviously he was pretty fast at Iowa, and, you know, I'm sure this, uh, this weekend will be no different for him. All right, if we can get a microphone back to Gary, please. Right here, up front. Right here. There we go. Eric, have you paid much attention to some of the uh, speculation or projections about your career, maybe for, for Sprint Cup, in light of your recent success? I mean, do you really pay that much attention to it right now? Do you feel like that'll take care of itself? No, you know, I kind of let it take care of itself. And, you know, my. Obviously, I'm concerned about my career path. Obviously, you know, I, I think anybody that says they, they don't look at it entirely is lying. And, and uh, you know, I, I see it and it's there, but I honestly don't pay much attention to it and just go out and do my job every week and try to drive as hard as I can and try to win the race. And, um, you know, as long as you do that, I think everything else will fall into place. So we, we've, we've had a, a good week a couple weeks ago, and that was great. And just, um, you know, focused on this weekend now and trying to, trying to keep everything going and, and keep that success but it's been fun it's been a good year and um, you know I'm definitely excited about the future uh, it means a lot you know I worked for uh, a long time to be considered to be one of the the better young guys coming up and you know when I was 13 14 15 running late models I was never really in that conversation with some of the other guys coming up and you know to finally be at that point where I'm in those talks is, um, you know, it, it means a lot to me and it's important to me to to, um, to be up there and it makes me feel good. So um, nice to see all that, you know, work pay off for us and uh, to be at this point right now. All right. Additional questions for Matt or Eric? Do we have any questions in the back at all? We good? All right, guys. We wish you the best of luck tonight.